Jy mag ook die drink en bestuur nie. Nee, maar een van die nee. dinge wat definitief lekker is, die is daar, is die gin ding het oorgevat oh. oorals. Het jy al achtergekom, oorals drink nee. mense gin die is daar. Ja, ja. en ek moet vir jou sê, ek en jy wat nou baie lief is vir bier, en natuurlijk die, die manne van Mountain Brew wat ons altyd mooi uitsorteer met bier, is lekker om later oor te gaan na, ja. na ietsie anders toe, miskien een ginniekie, gaan altyd goed af. Altyd ek goed sê. af. Ek moet vir jou sê, en, en ek denk ons het een lekker verrassing vir die mense. Ons is die verrassing, maar kom ons verwelkom ons met dadelijk, ons gaan dit een bykie oorslaan Engels toe, ja, maar ons verwelkom ja. hierdie man van Monks Gin, niemand anders dan nie as Connor Davids. Connor, welcome at Woospraikies, the Afrikaans show. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, feel uh, we we feel welcome that you are on the show with a with a little bit of gin information. Mm. Wait, How are where are you? you? Fr- where, where are you from, Connor? No, we've lost we've lost some audio. We, there, we've Connor. lost uh, some audio. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, hey, you yeah, there. We okay. you. Excellent. Yeah, awesome. Um, yeah, so so born and bred in Cape Town. Uh, the whole family. It's a family company. Yeah. Um, but about 10 years ago, we bought a farm out in Bainscliff, um, on the, on the Woolsey side of Bainscliff, oh, uh, right yeah. on the river. And, um, a few years after that, we decided, uh, to build a distillery there. So, um, ah, yeah, my, and, my dad, and he's out there. Only gin, yeah? only gin distillery or? Yeah, for now it's only gin. It's yeah. it's it's been a very long process. You know, we, we don't come from a line of of distillers or people in the industry, so it's been a big learning experience for us as as a whole. You know, I'm I'm yeah. based here in Cape Town. I head up all the sales. I'm I'm a, a, the sales director, and I do a lot of the PR for the for the company. Yeah. Thus, I'm here. You know, um, whereas yeah. my dad, he's out there on the farm. Uh, he his Afrikaans will put put me to shame for sure. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know. Uh, but we've learned slowly and and definitely space for stuff in the future. Maybe a bit of whiskey or rum or you know we'll see. Yeah, yeah. But but gin overall, craft gin, especially, has become yeah. a very very. Um, um, it's a fashion thing these days. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's I mean, almost a, a niche type of market as well yeah. with, the, with, the, with the craft gins now. I mean, the, the way that, that we look at it, you know, and it's, and it's part of the reason why, why we call ourselves monks. You know, um, part of the story is, is the 11th century Benedictine monks were the first to distill in copper pot stills. Um, and and oh. therefore, before then, it was it was the Arabs that were doing it in clay, in clay pots and they could never get the alcohol percentage high enough. So the, the 11th century monks developed that and it was originally intended for medicine. And fast forward a, a whole bunch of time, they, they were, you know, every little farmer in South Africa had his own still and he would make yeah. his vitblitz, his mampur, his, whatever it was with his excess fruit, they'd ferment it and they'd distill alcohol yeah. and they would make this farm liquor, you know. And then um, the Bruderbond were, were contracted to go out and literally sh- shoot these stills with shotguns. So a lot of farmers sure. still, still today have these stills on their properties and you find they've, they've got holes in them. Um, and then the wow. goosenecks, that, wow. that the condensing columns are, are stuffed full of cement. Um, if you come to the distillery, you'll actually, we've, we've got a couple of them that you can see, you know. Yeah. For us, it's more, um, it's more of a renaissance that, that mm. more small yeah. craft distilleries are, are starting to make liquor again in, in a craft style, not just the big boys, you know. There's lots yeah. of room for yeah. everyone. Um, and then at the same time, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, another gin because there's so many on the shelves. But mm. I mean, walk into the wine section, you know, you've got a, cho- yeah. a choice of exactly. 4,000 wines. So yeah. why not exactly. have 4,000 gins to yeah. choose from, you know? Yeah. Of course. So, um, yes. Yeah. I, I think, I think, and, and, and that's the a question that all the winemakers maybe get and all the gin makers maybe get. What makes your gin different than, than others? And I, I think it's, yeah. It's maybe a question. What do you what, what what makes you guys different from from other gin makers out there? Um, look, I think firstly we're we're a completely family run company, which I think is is quite special. And and if you look at at some of the great distilleries in the world, like the the the, the single malt Scotch distilleries, they they they're run by family name. You know, um, I think that that is quite unique and important. But 
Uh, in terms of a global context, we, we, um, we're very important because we're using unique South African botanicals and yeah. not just unique South African botanicals, but unique Western Cape South African botanicals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, our first okay. gin has got 11 botanicals in it. We call it the Mysterium. Um, and, and nine of which are those botanicals are actually hand foraged in the local area and surrounds. You know, yeah. on the part of our, our farm, which is obviously Bainscliff Mountain, so there's lots of really beautiful feinbos there. Oh, yes. And and then within that, you know, we all know buchu as as a yeah. as a plant, mm. but just on our farm alone, there's there's over ten varieties of buchu. So to yeah. find the right yeah. one with the right flavor profile in the right ratio to fit into this gin, it it took a very long time. It took two years just to fit the first recipe, you know. Sure. That's and then after that. Um, uh, our partners there on the farm who we bought the land from are the, uh, it's the Latakhan's Kop farm and right. Kuni Latakhan. And, and oh. he has a blueberry farm on the other side of the river. So we use the excess blueberries and we press it out in an old grape press and mix it in with the alcohol to distill a blueberry gin, no um, which, which is very delicious. And we add a bit of ginger in there, African ginger. So it's got a really beautiful profile to it. And then our last one, which we've won that, if you look at the bottom corner, the World Gin Award, yes. we won the best contemporary gin in Africa at the World mm -hmm. Gin Awards for wow. our monks, Mary Jane, which is uh, an African first and maybe even a world's first, but um, it's a cannabis wow. and hemp infused gin. Sure. That is a beautiful bottle as well. And the design is amazing. Yeah. And then it comes in a, in a nice cylinder. Wow. Just look at that. Just look at that. But then, then you know you're busy with class. That's that's yeah. a big. Thing. I mean, I had the privilege of tasting some of their gins at the golf day that we had the other day, and uh, okay. I'm telling you, it was amazing. I'm not I'm not particularly a gin drinker, uh, but that's uh, something I will definitely keep on drinking yeah. because it was. I mean, it was tasteful. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah, I must say, Connor, I'm I'm quite thirsty at the moment, and I see you've got a glass there in front of you. Are, <laughs> are you going to pour us something? Uh, most definitely, guys. So, um, yeah, as you said, you you we we poured you a cocktail at that at that gin yes. day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna replicate that. Nice. Um, it's it's quite a special mixture. Um, we do make a few other of our own products that are not available in retail anymore, but they're available okay. at the distillery. Okay. Um, one of which is my own recipe, which is a cocktail mix. So, yeah. I mean, picture in your head, uh, you go to a cocktail bar and they, they fill the shaker with a bit of simple syrup and lemon juice and a bit of fruit and a bit of this, and they shake it all together. So, I've simplified that process down into one liquid. Nice. So, I've got the sugar, okay. I've got the lemon juice, I've got um, the simple syrups, I've got the grapefruit, basil, star, yeast, everything in one syrup. So, you just add a wow. little bit to your gin and tonic. You've got a cocktail and then… Um, I've got, we've got our own tonic water. It's it's a very nice traditional tonic water with lower yeah. sugar than normal, um, and then it's got CBD in it as well. So it pairs really well with the hemp gin. Sure. So um, the best possible way to put it together, in my opinion, obviously start with your ice. Uh -huh. Not lots of ice in your glass. We're gonna give you the, the big hemp. screen now. <laughs> okay. The hemp gin. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, we're gonna pour a double shot of that. Sure. I mean, that looks like your type of shot. That is my type of drink. <laughs> I like an early drink top. <laughs> so we're gonna put and 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 that uh, is the ready that is the ready mix basically. Like yeah, you said. this is the ready mix. Yeah. You know how much uh, how much time does it save? All the ideas does it save? Because yeah. usually you don't know what to put into the gin. There you've got one solution. Exactly. exactly. So we're gonna add just one shot of that. Is, is this the specific one that, that Yaku had, or is this a different one? This is the specific one that Yaku had. I've developed yeah. another two ones for, to pair with the other gins, but this one is specific for the Mary Jane gin. Sure. Connor, I'm, I'm based in Pretoria. Will you please send that one to me when you finish there? <laughs> I don't think you're too far from For sure. S same day delivery. I'll put it on a yeah. plane. <laughs> I like the sure. service. Quality <laughs> service. Just look at that. Then we just top up with Look the tonic. Oh, I can smell Perfect it mixture. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then drink Ooh. away. Yeah, but that that no. <laughs> so basically, yeah. Connor, everything that's in that drink is 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 a is a is a monk's product basically. 
from exactly. the from Except the really the big welded gym. Except, <laughs> Except the, the ice. Except the ice. You guys must look into that. Yeah, yeah. With a with a with a little green leaf or something inside yeah. the ice block or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, and, and, That's and just nice. just your your yeah. logos on the bottles. It's it's quite unique. Yeah. I must say it, it immediately catches the eye. The the ones that that we see yeah. on screen here. Graphic designing. Do you guys also do it yourself? And and basically just get a nice idea because it's yeah it's quite cool i must say yeah so uh essentially obviously monks you've heard the story of monks yeah. and therefore they, they were the alchemists of the time so that's why we say the alchemy of gin you know that they were the medicine men of the time um and then the the little symbol that you see inside of the o mm. that actually me and my younger brother we've got them tattooed on our necks just to oh. represent the company you know free oh, advertising nice. wow. but uh, that that is actually the ancient alchemic symbol for copper now, wow. now copper oh. and the copper is the theme of the whole bottle because uh, copper is what the the monks didn't know when they when they first did it right um, at the time, it was the most malleable metal. We all know you can move it uh, around with your hands. So they didn't have the machinery back then to use steel or whatever else. Okay. But what, what caught up hundreds of years later was the fact that copper is the only known substance to remove the sulfites and the sulfates during the distillation process. It removes the poisons. Without that, Whoa. you'd go blind or you know, you, you'd get really yeah, sick. Yeah. So, so they didn't know that back then. And it was almost a miracle of the time. Um, and modern science only caught up in you know hundreds of years later. So we really wanted to share that story as part of our brand. And and uh, to answer your your initial question, um, my mother, who's also part of the company, comes from uh, almost thirty years in the film industry. She's a producer, an yeah. executive producer, yeah, okay. and and so she knows a lot of people in the design and creative space yeah. that have wow. come together to really help us with this. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. But yeah, I like. I like, like these words, the gin yeah. intended for immaculate consumption. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Uh, the, the cool thing to me, Jaco, I have to say to you, and I have to say to you, it's not a family business, because you think of a family business, you always know that there is not a perfect thing. It is a yeah. trial and error, a trial and error to get a perfect product. To cry. And, and that's what I love about a family business, and that I'll always support a family business. And, yeah. yeah, man, I can see there's a lot of passion going into what you guys are doing and just well done. The, the next yeah. gen I'll buy is definitely be going to be a monk. No doubt definitely. about it. Amazing. Going to tell us <laughs> oh, quickly, last thing. Where can people buy this? Where can they reach you guys? Okay, well, uh, you can reach us straight on our website, uh, monksgin.co.za or .com. Uh, you can scroll right to the bottom and you'll see Connor and, and all my contact details there. So you can contact me directly. Otherwise, um, in, in sort of uh, major cities or hubs in South Africa, you can get them at Pick and Pay, Checkers, Liquor Cities, Blue Bottles, um, wow. Topses. Um, but if you're in more remote areas, it might be difficult. So then just order on Take A Lot um, and it should be a free delivery. You can order one bottle or a case and they'll deliver yeah. straight to you. Yeah. yeah, and, and awesome. when we spoke, um, you said something about there's something coming out, especially for Father's Day. Yes, well, well, we we we're gonna be working on something. Uh, we 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 we're gonna be playing on the theme of Christmas in in June, Christmas in July, like the Americans do, you know. And, and we've got a lovely hamper coming out. So, um, stunning. Yeah, if you if you like the idea of this whole cocktail combination, you might or. You, might not be able to get it all together oh, in good. one box, okay. you know? That's um, good. So, yeah. Connor, we're going to ask Thank you to you. send us the information when that is ready. We'll mm. definitely be posting it on the Voos page. So, guys, keep a look out. I mean, yep. this is a stunning gin. You can definitely go out and buy yourself some of these gins. Um, you, won't, you won't regret it at all. Mm. I mean, this is, Amy, I'm telling you. I'm just telling you. Ek is water aan die Oh man, come on. <laughs> Let's give him a hand there. <laughs> Connor, thanks for popping in, man. I will definitely see, yeah. see more of you and your product in the future. Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you so man. much for having me, guys. Great to meet you both. Yeah, cool, definitely. Man. And Amy, ek sê vir jou baie dankie, was een lekker aand weer om saam met jou te keir. Ek sien uit na vrijdag aand. So yep. vrijdag aand vat ons hierdie ding weer groot en dan gaan ons maar uh, voor en toe met Rieke so, Snel. En uh, natuurlijk uh, net lekker keierte. Yep. <laughs> lekker te.